Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a little side project, a DIY external SSD. What I have here is a crucial P2, 500 gigs, NVMe drive, I got for around $30, and the Oracle enclosure for $15. So inside the box, you get a USB-A to USB-C cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable, instruction manual, warranty cards, and thermal pads. They also included a screwdriver and a few screws. The instruction manual said to put the thermal pads here, but I'm not going to bother. Alright, let's put the uh, logic board back in and install the drive. It's quite simple, there's only one way in, you cannot mess this up. Wiggle a little bit to get them sit tightly, uh, push it down, and secure them with a rubber screw provided. Once you got that all tight and secure, slide the cover plate back in, just like that. And then use one of the screws provided to finally seal it in. Alright, let's uh, plug it in and do a few testing. So for the benchmarks, uh, I scored pretty much the same with my T5. So next test, I'm transferring a large folder. And as you can see, the speeds are the same, but the T5 heats up. It's really hot. While the DIY drive stay cool the entire time. Entering editing videos, same concept. The T5 is super hot and the DIY drive is just cool. And I guess that's it. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.